Now let's look at the validator class on the server. The validator class contains two methods. The first is validate quantity, which takes a product ID and a quantity, both in string format, and checks that the quantity of the product is between 1 and 99. The second method is validate form, which is the server side code that validates the form from the checkout page. Notice that it takes all of the form parameters that were sent with the request, because those are the parameters it is validating. It also takes a request parameter, because if one or more of the fields is found to be invalid, it adds an error attribute to the request scope. As we saw just a moment ago, if an attribute is found, a corresponding error message will be displayed on the checkout page. Notice that the validator does not set the validation error flag attribute. It simply returns false to the controller servlet if an error is found, and the controller servlet sets the attribute. 